morning! This is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand ready for today's project. Today's project is 9 out of the 12 challenge projects that I am working on and today is the ninth project. I have done 8 already. If you haven't got a chance, make sure you check the Low Cooking Online TV library and then you can see all the different projects plus 155 uh, more tutorial ready to view. Woo, that will keep you busy. So today is the nice project and uh, I am going to use a least combo set, the B4. This combo set is our least month special and I have extending or uh, promotion because I'm running a little bit um, behind. I haven't got a chance to show you all 12 projects yet. So that's why I extending the promotion until the end of this month. Make sure you check it out. Great save you can save up to 49% uh, discount plus free shipping for this month's special only. Okay, so that's us start today's project. I'm going to show you some few tricks that I know and I hope you like it. And remember, if you like this tutorial, you find it helpful, always give me a thumb up. Help me to share this awesome channel with your friend by click the share button on your Facebook or Pinterest. So that's us start it. I am always learning from the process. I remember the first year when I go to um, when I was in the art school and uh, my professor always mentioned it's not about the final project, it's about the process of what did you learn. So I found that during the process I keep coming out with a new idea and I sometimes I met some problem and I try to solve it. So the processing is, uh, is, is a great way to learning. So this is my first prototype and uh, I did some change so I'm going to show you a little bit more things that I learned during the process of when I'm making this car. If you ask me Lisa do you have your favorite stamp set? Well it's really hard to tell because I um, design every single stamp set that I'm selling so it's like my my babies I love every single one but I do have one is my favorite set. That will be the set I'm using today. Uh, if you know me, you probably know I like chubby stuff. So if you barely can see my image, especially animal, like a very skinny one, they always chubby because I like a chubby stuff just like myself. So this uh, B4, four, this uh, goldfish is my favorite set. I just love it. No matter what you do, they always turn out good. And every time when I use this set, it makes Make me happy. So today's tutorial I am going to show you something else and actually I changed the background. I'm going to show you a different way to color the background. Ready? That to start with the materialist. The materialist is a very simple so we are going to have a glossy car style. If you don't have a glossy car style you can just use the black color or darker color that will show better. And then I am going to so the glossy car style is a 5 by 5 uh, 5.5 by 5.5 and then I have a piece of watercolor cards that I want to show you a unique way to create a background something fast and easy so the watercolor cards that is a 5.5 by 5.25 and then I want to show you how you can use your die cut create a, a, a foundation but uh, it's die cut foundation is pretty unique it's very easy and uh, the, my prototype I didn't I had a little bit of um, problem to glue them together because you can see they probably still have some tape to holding it right so I want to make it a little bit easier so what I did is I use a piece of acetate to hold all my cutting pieces and don't worry I'm going to show you but, uh, step by step how to do that and then um, I already run out the full size acetate so and uh, so what I'm gonna do and I found out one time my friend Lisa from Savannah actually she gave me a box of a projector sheet so um, it's not as thick as uh, or acetate but it will do the job because this one is just for holding so if you want to make a project like this you don't have acetate you can do it without it the only thing is you got to use it um, the regular tape to kind of uh, like a careful taping all the 
like a between. But uh, if you have a piece of acetate, this acetate can just uh, hold uh, um, those die cut much easier. And I'm going to show you how. So today's tutorial may be a little bit long, uh, but trust me, you are going to learn something that you probably don't know. Okay, first we are going to create my foundation. The foundation color is going to need a little bit time to dry, so that's uh, why we are going to work first. So what are you going to do? You can just uh, color your, you know, blue cardstock, kind of just using your die cut as a stencil, and then put a ripple background stem on top. So create a background, but I want to do something a little bit. This cut it looks like it take a long time to do it, but once when you get it, it's actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna color it, and then you can use the watercolor, you can use the uh, uh, local king's magic mushroom, you can do whatever you like. But I'm going to show you a way that is very fast and easy. So what you're gonna do is you're going to have a sandwich bag and you're going to have uh, the marker. So I'm going to just start with uh, a light color. So I'm going to just use uh, three blue. Okay, just like this. And then you just uh, put your hand inside this sandwich bag and then you kind of just use the markers, kind of just drawing few lines like this. And then you're going to have a, a water bottle just mix with some color. Not color, sorry, water. Just mix with a little bit of water, not too much, just like that. And then you just kind of tap it. Look, what a beautiful water, just like that. So artistic, right? And then don't worry about uh, this marker. All marker is a heavy duty. You can abuse them it work better and better. And then I'm going to just use the other blue. And remember when you use a darker color, you're going to use a little bit less and less. And I'm going to just uh, put a little bit. There's a too many ways to do this. Some people just draw. If you have a piece of glass, you can just uh, draw it on the glass and dipping your, your um, paper on top of glass. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine. Okay. Mix a little bit of water, and then kind of just uh, do that. Voila! That's going to be my foundation color. Isn't that fast and easy? And then after it dry, we can do a little bit ripple on top and we can touch out a little bit. So let me go clean my table, I will be right back. Okay, so after I um, just apply the color on top and I heat up, make sure it's dry. Before we move on to our main pages, I am going to just use my magic mushroom, kind of give it a little bit color around the border, just to give it a little bit touch out. Try to fill that um, white gap, only if you want to, okay? Gently from outside in, just rubbing it. And this is a watercolor cardstock. Okay, so just a uh, rub some color. Isn't that beautiful um, background? And then if you want to, that's the we can add some ripple on top. So we can use uh, that's just do both. Let's do white first. Okay, so oops, I used the white um, pigment ink, gently rubbing my background stamp, and instead of what I stamp my stamp on top of the paper, I do this, and then I just uh, put a core, um, like a half size of this card on top. It doesn't have to be like whole sheet. Ooh, the color is too light, so I probably have to do the embossing. Okay, let me do the embossing. So I am going to just do the white embossing. Ooh, first of all, my tray is very dirty. Going to do embossing, so I hope that um, the, those ripples will pop out more. It all depends on what you like. So, but uh, before you do that, you got to make sure that foundation card is dry. It kind of looks like a collage. It doesn't have to be like a whole, like a cover the ripple the whole 
page. Okay, I'm going to do embossing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did some um, white embossing. You can see it's not already pop out, right? So um, if you want those white embossing pop out, the best way is to make your background a little bit darker. Okay, so let me show you. Just a par partially, see now those ripple is pop out, right? I don't. I want to kind of create like a co collage looking. I don't want to be like a very like a even like a. I want it more like artistic. Okay, so I clean my um, background stem and I'm going to use a little bit darker color, and I'm going to just stamping the other half. Some ripple. So that series two background which one you like the better, right? So you choose whatever you like. That's how I come up with this uh, new um, background. I like this one better. Okay, let's move to the next step. Okay, so the next step is we're going to create the front page, right? How to do that? So I already created one to show you and see how beautiful that background is. You don't even have to do anything. Just put the back on. It looks awesome already, right? Wait, but there's more. So what I'm going to do is we are going to use, we are going to do the, like a quilting. We are going to just cut a few pieces. Uh, I think uh, one, like a two or three will do. So I already cut one and I don't really want to waste my car, um, my glossy car stuff. I have at least one, I just cut the from that 5.5 by 5.5, right? So we don't, we only need the one is a full size for this corner. The other three pieces, so we can kind of cheat. So I am going to cut the one piece like this and one piece like this and one piece like this. So you kind of like change your spot and then we are going to quilting we are going to put them together so I'm going to show you how hey see I don't want to waste my cardstock right so I just use that side and uh, I just uh, cut it three times and then because that kiss cut I am going to easily break all these three pieces so that way we don't waste anything isn't that awesome? So we come to just uh, break it up easily and uh, I get my front page ready. Okay, so just make sure you poke those little pieces out. And remember because I rubbing with that dryer sheet, it make it much easier to release from the die cut. And then for that little hinge, try to use a, a scissors. Just trimming it before we mounting on the um, projector sheet. Okay, so just do this. And this, this is it. Okay, good. Okay, so next, what are we going to do? We are going to just uh, grab our cardstock. You decide you want to open this way or that way. So I'm going to do open that way. And then I am going to grab uh, my ruler. I actually have to create a window. So probably around uh, um, a quarter inch will do. So I'm going to just uh, use my pencil to create a window and I am going to use my craft knife to cut it out, cut this centerpiece and then that middle one you can use it too. So this project is I actually only use one um, letter size because of my foundation, I cut it and then after I die cut this, I'm going to use to cut this uh, four, four piece and the, the side, I just cut that three. So you don't really waste a lot of uh, um, paper. Just one whole sheet, you can do the project like that. And then I am going to just use a craft knife to cut this window out. So I don't see so you want me, you don't want to see me cutting, right? So I'm going to just fast forward it. Okay, so after I cut a window, I put a double side tape and now I'm going to remove my the double side tape and then stick that projector sheet. So just be very careful, remove that double side tape and be careful because the frame is kind of narrow. 
you don't want to bend it, your car stock so that way when you put your projector sheets it's going to be like a bend over it's not going to be flat okay and then when you want to put the projector sheet is a hold of both with your both hand and then put one side first that way they will keep it flat okay so that's the window and now we are going to glue those pieces back so this is what i do i use uh, these uh, micro you can use the glue but uh, you just have to be careful clean it so i use these uh, micro be uh, micro glue micro they, those are the glue dots they are very tiny so we can just uh, use a little bit Okay, and be careful they are so sticky you don't want to touch because they are going to stick on your finger okay so I need you to put the one the whole sheet image so be careful make sure you put in the right place and then you push down like this and then remember we have a three pieces right so we're kind of like going to play like a puzzle so i am going to just uh, do like these okay so you're gonna mark with your uh, pencil and then you are going to cut that place so i'm going to just bring my trimmer here a little trimmer so we mark that place and we are going to cut it okay so that piece go over there and uh, the other one so you can kind of play try to fit it out the gap so i'm going to do this way okay have that goldfish there and then again i'm going to just uh, mark it here and here so it's just like a quilting and uh, I'm going to just fast forward and we'll be right back there you go so I kind of use my die cut to create my foundation card so it's one die cut but look how it look like a lot of little goldfish is swimming over there just take a look fast see how pretty it is right okay now it's almost there we are going to if you want to you can just uh, uh we're going to color one and die cut it and there's one more trick i want to show you so let me um let me just Oh, you know what? Let's just color it. Maybe you want to um, hear me talk. So let's just color this little goldfish. Okay, so let's color this goldfish. You have the package, so that kind of give you some idea, right? And then I always do this. I have a goldfish here and some water lily pack there. You can just use the markers to color them. But I just uh, find out this way it kind of split, 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 speed, <laughs> speed up a little bit. So I'm just using impact that to make this coloring a little faster. And uh, for that water uh, lily, I'm going to use purple. So I'm going to just uh, kind of rubbing a little bit foundation color there and uh, a little bit darker color there you don't have to worry about the detail now we are going to fix it so we're going to use uh, the oh, this is not green we're going to use a green to color the uh, water lily pad first okay i already used the orange and the green color my goldfish goldfish two three fishes and then i use a kind of purple color color my water lilies and then now i'm doing the green to color the green okay so because this is a shadow stamp that make a coloring so easy and i have been create a lot of tutorial to show you coloring so just make sure you want to do this kind of technique you got to have the shadow stand if you have a regular stand no matter how many color you use it's going to only have a colorful outline you have to spend the time to color in and like i say always color the outline 
with a little bit darker color so that way they will show better so I use a brown you can I just found the black is maybe too much put a little bit brown my water lady make it more looks uh, nature like a brown spot and I'm going to give a big uh, smoky eyes here and we're gonna stamp so I'm gonna use the dog glossy again if you are not sure which kind of paper that I use, make sure you watch the tutorial 138. There is a uh, review for 10 different kinds of cards that I use uh, for my tutorial. So I'm going to use the dog glossy again. And like I say, you don't have to work fast, take your time, they dry slow on the rubber. You give you enough time. You don't even have to need the hot. So have your ooh and ah ready again. Give a nice firm press if you have stamp positioner, use it. If you don't have it, just make sure you hold there um, for three, four seconds. Let the paper really absorb the ink. And uh, ready? Ooh and ah. Don't you love those little chubby fish? I'm going to die cut it, but before I die cut it, I want to um, um, add a little bit extra fishes on the side so I am going to I already pre-cut two but I want to have more so this time I am actually only going to color that goldfish okay have you seen the black goldfish this is just a um uh, let me think uh, remind one of my students before I start my business I used to teach I help the student who want to apply the art college and I met one student she's a very interesting she loved black everything she has is black you go to her her car is black her clothes is black you go to her house and her bed comfort uh, comforter is black pillowcase is, is black and the, her toilet is black her shower curtain is black everything is black and but the one thing is really freaked me out is that her goldfish is also black so that's how i remember her name is alexandra so i remember her she actually made it to the university emily car i think we probably graduated now okay so i use the gray and um darker gray and i only color my little goldfish because i only need that three goldfish and um, just a color a little bit black on top don't worry about the what uh, the water lily because we're going to cut it out okay so you have a small piece of uh, paper you don't use it just uh, um, use that small scrap paper okay let's see what's the black goldfish look like is that cute it's awesome, so cute, right? Because it's a choppy. If it's a skinny goldfish, it's probably not as cute as the choppy one. Don't you find that, that choppy kids is always cute? The skinny kids is pretty, <laughs> but the choppy one, I'm like the choppy side. I'm the cute one, not the pretty one. Okay, so now I'm going to die cut it, and uh, you have been seeing my tutorial for thousands of times. Not thousands, I only have 155 tutorial. Too many times. So you know how to die cut, right? So I'm going to just... Uh, Put this one die cut and I will be right back. Okay, so I just uh, die cut it. This one is going to be in the, my front page and I'm going to trimming these uh, three black gray goldfish because uh, because the die cut, it make this trimming is not very hard. So you can just use uh, scissors, kind of just uh, follow the line. It's very easy. If you want to cut a whole um, pages with knife, they may be a little bit challenged. But if we only want a few goldfish, uh, goldfish, goldfish is much easier. Isn't that cute? Even part of their body is missing. Okay, and then so this one I probably um, move a little bit. I'm going to just use my magic mushroom, kind of darken the outline a little bit. Okay, and uh, the goldfish one, same thing. We can use a black, uh, not black, blue to give a little bit highlighted. It's a very cute goldfish. Would you like to be cute or would you like to be pretty? You know, like I say, the chubby kids is always cute. The skinny kids is uh, more prettier. So, I'm like a chubby side, but 
I like to be chubby in the beautiful too. Okay, so there you go. Now we are going to glue on top and this is something else that I would like to share with you. So first things, okay, uh, if you want to you can take a look in the back, see there is the, always a few surprises, uh, some extra stuff, something pop out, like this one is that water lily petals. Okay, and then when you put your die cut on top of that, uh, the front page, try to shift a little bit so that way they kind of create a little bit shadow behind. So I am going to um, just uh, put my phone tape here and uh, I have some small phone tape somewhere, I cannot find it. So just a few pieces of phone tape here and there. Okay, here and uh, here. And uh, remember when you put on top, okay, just remove the backing. Okay, don't put on right on top of like a level. Eh? I want you kind of shift a little bit, like uh, maybe just uh, two, one or two millimeter to let that showing a little bit of black. See? Right? Isn't that cute? Okay, and then I have a few goldfish here. Um, what you can do is you can just uh, put, uh, um, try to find the same thing. And then you say, oh, you probably say, hey, Lisa, your goldfish is, uh, is uh, some part of the tail is missing. I don't know, have you, what's that movie? There's one movie is talking about dolphin in the clear water and then she, she, her name is Winter or something. I have to find the name. So the story is that dolphin. She, she her tail was uh, uh, was injured, so they have to you know amputate the, the 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 tail. And then there is one little boy, and then, then I think it's a boy. Yeah, and they found out that dolphin, and they actually helping to put those artificial you know tail. Okay, the sounds story about that. So that's not a funny part, but it's a beautiful story. Um, I don't remember the name. I'm going to find out the least that name in the Lisa script, okay? The funny part is that one time I went to that rescue, for, rescue, facility, rescue facility. It was in the clear water. I think everybody watched that movie. It's beautiful. So I went to that facility and then I saw they have those stuffed animals, right? And all the dolphin stuffed animal is the one tail is like a, is, is missing. So I was just wondering when, you know, the factory in China when they make those stuffed animals, they must thinking about what's wrong with those people. This tail is is not is something wrong. It's a defect item. So these the little goldfish, the tail is the part because it is under the the water lily, right? So what we're going to do is uh, if you don't mind, you can just uh, kind of put on top. But if that bothers you, what are you going to do is uh, you can put it under. So if you put it under, they can hide that missing tail. So actually they kind of create a, um, some extra goldfish if you want to. So I'm going to just put a few goldfish and then you're going to glue that goldfish on. Let me find my glue, 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 glue. Where is the glue? Oh, glue is here. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm going to just. Uh, okay. Let me see where I'm going to put my fish. My fish is going to be somewhere around here, right? So I'm going to just put a little bit glue there, and my little black goldfish. It's just a hanging there. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to do this. Just a little bit glue. Oh, and thank you. Finally, I found those squeaky, uh, squeak, squeaky bottles with like those find the fine tip. And thank you, you guys provide the link. Okay, so I have my two. Eh, what happened? Ooh. 
my two little ah, black goldfish around the corner. There you go. It's just a little touch up and then I'm going to insert my water in. So, and then I'm going to just tape it. So today's tutorial, have you learned something from this tutorial? How to create this awesome background with the sandwich bag and uh, how to use uh, the die cut um, make it look like a coiled quilting. You can kind of just uh, like uh, glue them, stick them together. Isn't that awesome? So I think that's a very pretty card project, something different, right? It's just like uh, the topic of my tutorial, 12 challenging card project. So this is my nice project. I have uh, three more to go. Trust me, it's not easy. Every day I'm looking for some great idea. If you like this tutorial, make sure you give me a thumb up and help me share this awesome channel with your friend. I am sure they are going to enjoy it, right? And then I just want to share something with you and this is going to be my next tutorial. It's actually, um, the idea is come from one of my customer and I'm going to mention her name uh, when I uh, create that tutorial. That was uh, her idea. She sent me a beautiful picture um, to the Facebook and it's so pretty and I was wondering how she do that. So I was going to make a project like this. So it's uh, the same um, image, the B4, <laughs> and I put this on Google Eyes. If you want to, you can um, use uh, those uh, uh, Nuvu to create the um, 3D eyes. And I have a tutorial, I will put a link behind below, is uh, how to create uh, your Google Eyes library. Okay, so check it out. And then I even put a little bit of lipstick if you want to. Okay, so this one, that was my original design. You can see how pretty it is, right? You know, it's very um, simple, but it's so elegant. In the, the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create uh, this one. It's not just a uh, gold embossing, it's something else. You don't want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe to uh, Local Kings YouTube channel and uh, look how pretty it is and uh, turn on the bell when I have a new tutorial you will receive a, a email say hey Lisa I have a new tutorial and I like uh, like I say if you love this tutorial make sure you give me a thumb up and leave me a comment let me know and I need to know and uh, share this awesome channel with your friend okay so this is Lisa from Local King Robert Stand. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.